What is going on guys, it's Dio here at the Return of Dio Gaming here on YouTube, also real life riding, real life racing, you know, all the normal stuff, and today is the last day of 2014, that's incredibly crazy, it is December 31st, uh, we're about 8 hours away, as I record this of course, from 2015, that's just mind blowing. So I just really wanted to take a moment and kind of go back over the year of 2014, uh, just what happened on my YouTube channel, kind of what happened in my life, and uh, just reflect on it a little bit. And of course, thank you guys for joining me along this ridiculous YouTube journey. So YouTube 2014, this is based off some YouTube analytics, so you know, they're not spot on, but it looks like I gained about 7,920 subscribers. Um, right now I'm at about 14,500 and change. So I almost doubled my YouTube channel just in 2014 alone. So I just want to say thank you guys so much. Everyone who's been here since the beginning or, you know, if you're one of those new 7,000 or if you just subscribed today, welcome. And thank you so much for being, again, a, a part of this silly journey that I do on my free time. Uh, some other fun, interesting numbers. It looks like I had 29,000 likes, 764 dislikes. I mean, you know. Haters gonna hate, but uh, that's actually really not that bad. In some of the videos, I watch myself and I'm like, yeah, I would, I would dislike that too. So I can't get too mad about that. And then 12,400 comments. And of course, these all have a change attached to them, but right around there. 2014, uh, my first video actually dropped January 3rd of 2014. Of course, that's my first video of 2014, not ever. And in 2014, I put out right above 300 videos. Uh, I counted 302, but you know, some of those were private or unlisted or whatever. So right around 300 videos, including this one. So pretty much while I was at work today, this sounds awful, I know, but uh, I cruised through my YouTube videos from 2014 and just saw kind of what stuck out to me. What was different that happened in 2014? Through the start of the year, it kind of seems like mostly, you know, I was still doing some alive videos. I was doing some real life riding videos. Nothing too crazy, and um, February 27th, I actually got my new GoPro, the current GoPro I've been using, which is the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, freaking awesome. Moto Rob hooked me up with a coupon on that, $100 off, got myself that, I think that really helped up the quality of my videos, because at the time, I was just running the first HD GoPro, the GoPro HD, and the 2 was already out, the 2 black, silver, white, and then the 3, and then finally the 3 Plus, so I finally kind of caught up with the times, and as things go, you know, of course, now I'm falling behind since there's a GoPro 4, but whatever. On the 27th, I got a new GoPro, really helped out my real life riding videos. March 17th is when I got my new PC, and I think that really kind of sparked up my channel. I was able to then do Reflex, I could actually play Simulator at a respectable frame rate, um, helped out my video editing, live streaming wouldn't be possible if I didn't get this new PC, so that was a huge thing. Take a little step back, March 10th was actually when my dad had his really bad crash, if you guys saw or remembered that. Um, he broke his pelvis, open book pelvic fracture, he also dislocated his hip, he was in the hospital for about a week, um, had to go under, un, undergo surgery, and then he took a whole bunch of time off work, went back to work, and then uh, they had to replace his hip, which he had to do anyway, but this kind of made it even worse, and they couldn't do both surgeries at once, so then he had to get a hip replacement and be back off work, and actually his first day is going to be the the 2nd of January because they have the first off for New Year's. So March 10th he crashes and this has been all year long. He's finally just on the verge of going back to work and all healed up. So that's great news, but that was a very big life event having to uh, toss him in the bed of the pickup truck and drive to the hospital. Not a fun time, let me tell you. Um, what else happened in 2014? MX vs ATV Supercross hype. I have quite a few videos of, oh, new update we heard or possible gameplay uh, back and forth. Uh, we all know how that kind of ended up. Also, MXGP was released uh, quite earlier on PC than on the consoles, so uh, or at least here in America. But I got quite a bit of footage up on that, some people loving that, and it really helped out when it was announced that Villapoto was going to the GP. So I think that I think that really sparked MXGP, the video game here in America, that people here who usually don't really care about the GPs are now more interested in it because of Villapoto. Another big thing was James Stewart failing that drug test and the repercussions are finally just starting to roll around as we go into the 2015 Supercross series, but it was actually Seattle of last year that he failed that drug test, like April 11th if my memory serves correct, something like that. Um, I mentioned the new PC with live streaming, yeah, my first live stream from uh, July 29th with 43 
1,389 views as I uh, wrote this list down at work. That is bizarre, and I've been getting so many followers on Twitch. Um, I upload almost all my streams to YouTube. You guys really seem to love them. It's a really fun environment. Everyone coming on the whole chat, reading the chat, uh, maybe drinking some alcohol here and there. Um, I'm of age, so it's quite all right. And uh, it's, it's a lot more personal than just YouTube where you guys are sitting here listening to me talk. We're actually interacting, and what you say, I'm reading, and I'm replying to it, and uh all over a good time. I, I love live streaming. It does take a lot of time. Sometimes it can kind of feel like a chore, but it's a lot of fun with you guys. So that was something that kind of came about in 2014. And yeah, I had live streamed before, but it was awful quality, poorly executed, um, and with my PC that I got much easier. Like I said, Reflex Raceable custom tracks. And actually, when I first got the PC, it was just uh, beta tracks. But now you can actually have custom races. Like, you, well, you guys obviously know, but you actually do laps and there's timers and stuff. That wasn't around until this year, as well as, uh, well, at least as far as I know, but as well as Reflex Bike Graphics on PC again, and uh, Rider Gear, that now people can skin bikes and gear, and you can have your rider look exactly like you. That's awesome. That's such a big deal. I know everyone loves that. Of course, if you don't have a PC, you don't love it quite as much, but it's still crazy that's a, that that is available. Uh, one thing that kind of stuck out to me, uh, as you guys remember, the whole Ice Bucket Challenge deal that was going around, and I did the Skid Loader one. Uh, pretty happy with that. That was a pretty funny video. Um, I don't really feel like it got all the love that it should have of me having a skid loader bucket full of water dumped on my head, but that's all right. Um, then August 31st was my first teaser of the 450. If you guys remember, all it was was my intro, but with a different bike sound, and then it said stay tuned. Uh, some people guessed it pretty spot on. Some people were pretty confused. But I think that video worked really well, and getting the new bike was a pretty big deal also. Um, these are some some silly things, but I uh, got my MX Simulator whole shot, which was hilarious during a live stream. That was just a good time. Air tech support. I'm not letting off. I'm just hucking it. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yes. That was worth it. <laughs> MX Bikes came out, the demo of it came out, uh, which is trying to be a rival of MX Simulator, so that was something that, uh, my channel, I, I had like one or two videos with it, nothing too exciting, but it is something that happened. Um, October 1st is when I did the video about Villapoto is going to race MXGP, and like I said, I really feel like that helped out the MXGP game, because a lot more people became interested in the MXGPs when the most dominant, not the most, but a very dominant motocross racer here in America is going to race a different series. It's pretty big news. I hit 100 real life riding videos all together, which was pretty crazy. I've been doing this for like, what, three or four years now? It's going to be on going on four years. And I hit 100 real life riding videos and have gone even more above that since then. Uh, October 28th, Supercross finally comes out after all this hype, after it was supposed to be out like in June at first and I got pushed back to August. Finally, it comes out and everyone's let down. So that was a bummer. I think that it's kind of starting to come around now with the recent patch. But that was some big news. After THQ shut down and we're like, we're never going to have another MX vs. ATV, Nordic picks it up and then they finally release it. And finally, you know, um, 10 months into the year, we finally get our video game. Let's see, what else? Um, so rewinding really far back, also on March 17th, I posted a video that referred to myself as a pro practicer, that I felt like something was telling me not to race, that I shouldn't be racing, I, I should just ride for fun, and I wasn't going to race anymore, people always asked. And then you fast forward up to October 18th, and I raced my first winter combat in quite a few years, and I raced it on the new 450. And I hit, I don't know, I've, I've said it before, but three or four of those rounds, and I really want to hit some of the next rounds that are coming up, the more legit series of motocross racing, locally, obviously. But, um, so pretty crazy what can change in a year, going from a uh, self-proclaimed pro practicer to actually wanting to race and be competitive, and I'm not talking Loretta Lynn's 450A or anything, but going out every Sunday and uh, banging bars with people. And uh, my biggest crash of the year came on the 125, my high side during the winter combat race. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but uh, luckily that really was the biggest injury I had all year, the biggest crash. It definitely could have been so much worse, so I'm thankful for that, but uh, still kind of a high point of my year, I guess. Um, another thing, uh, Adam Cianciarillo out for Supercross after re-injuring his shoulder that he hurt earlier in 2014, so he's going to be out all of 2015. And then we hear about the James Stewart 16-month drug suspension um, that was referred to earlier. So, at least in my opinion, that's all the like 
big news or exciting or funny or crazy or whatever stuff that happened in 2014 to me. So I really just want to say again, thank you guys so much for being a part of it. And let me know what, what did, what happened in your 2014 year, 2014 year that you enjoyed? What did I do in 2014 that you enjoyed? And what are you looking forward to in 2015, either from my channel or your personal life or some writing goals? What are you excited for going into this new year? But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope I can have another year just as just as successful if not more so another 7,000 subscribers another 10,000 um it blows my mind every day when I get new new and more and everything subscribers so love to see that coming in as always you guys I talked about the comments I read every single one I still get emails I reply to as many as I can as long as there's something that should be replied to if it just says good video, maybe not, but if you ask a question, whatever, you guys know I try and talk to everyone and I love that about you guys. I try and be active with you on Twitter and Snapchat and Facebook and everywhere that I can talk to you besides kick. I got rid of my kick because I was just obnoxious. I try my hardest to talk to you guys. So again, thank you so much for a wonderful 2014. I can't believe it's 2015 in just a few hours, but I uh, hope you guys stick around and continue to, to enjoy the content. And uh, until next time, you guys, as always, take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>